Songbook. Introduction. Welcome to the Korg Songbook video. This incredible feature was introduced in 2003 with the launch of the PA1X and is available in all models since then. This 30 minute video will cover in detail the functions available in the keyboard as well as the companion songbook editor. This free computer application is aimed to further simplify some key operations as you'll see in the songbook editor section. Further information about Songbook can be found in the PDF manuals on the accessory disc that came with your instrument or downloaded from your Korg distributor's website. We assume you're familiar with the Korg Arranger interface and with the operations related to style and song play modes. A USB pen drive containing a standard MIDI file and an MP3 are required to do some of the exercises. In this video, we're using a PA900, but other models work in a similar way. There are a few times where the PA900 I'm using may be different from your PA. For example, I may refer to media mode on the PA900 where this is called disc in previous models. Also, don't worry if styles, sounds, or songbook entries in your unit are different or organized in different locations than shown in the video. If you're instructed to select a particular style or sound and either it isn't there or the name is different, select any other and continue to follow along. First of all, what is Songbook? It's a powerful and fully programmable musical database. At the heart of Songbook, there's a list of song titles. We refer to these as song entries. You have several options to search, order, or filter them the way you like. Once you find and select a song entry, it automatically selects the right mode, for example, style play or song play and brings up a style, a standard MIDI file, or MP3 to perform that song. The song title will also bring up four single touch settings, four pads, the voice processor preset, even text lyrics, making the performance setup complete. This is an extremely fast and reliable solution, especially for live gigs. There are several titles already provided by Korg, and of course you can edit them or create your own. Each musician has a different repertoire, and for this reason the songbook can be fully customized. No more awkwardly searching for the settings to play your song. Songbook brings everything together for you with a single touch. There are three main sections of songbook. The main page, where you select the song you want. The edit pages to customize the song entry. And custom list, where you can organize lists of songs you will use in a performance. Songbook is very easy to use. Simply touch the song you want, then touch Select. Up to 9,999 song entries can be stored, giving you access to a huge repertoire to perform with. This means that many different resources can be handled at once, so we recommend that you keep your styles, MIDI files, MP3s, and text files on the internal memory of your PA. Using external memory, like a USB thumb drive, is suggested only if your PA doesn't have an internal drive or the drive isn't large enough for your needs. So before we get started, I'm going to copy the three resources I'll be using in this video from my USB stick to the internal drive of the PA900. Recalling a song. There are different ways to find the song you are looking for. The most common is to sort the list, for example, by song entry name. Touching it again switches between ascending and descending. You can sort by different criteria by touching the top of each column. For now, touch the name column so it's ascending. Song titles can be found using the scroll bar or the dial. You can also hold down the shift button and touch the arrows above or below the scroll bar to jump to the next or previous alphabetical section. You'll notice that the genre and key are displayed. This can be changed here in the page menu. 
A second method is using the search feature. Press the search button, touch in the text box, and type the name of what you're looking for. And touch search. Here are the resulting songbook entries. You can type in the whole name or just part of it. Typing in more of the song name will result in a shorter and more accurate list. Only the name field is considered and capital letters are ignored. It's basically the same as searching for something on a computer, including using characters like asterisk and question mark to create more refined searches. Touch the song you want, then select. By the way, this search feature can be used in different modes to locate any resource, including styles, performances, etc. A third method is using the filter option. In this case, you can use more than one criteria. For example, selecting all the songs that have love in the title. Being a pop song. And having a BPM between 120 and 150. As you can see, it's the most accurate method, though not the fastest. Checking and unchecking the filtered parameter switches between the filtered view and the whole songbook list. When creating your own songbook entries, it's important to include relevant and accurate information. For example, if you'd like to access songs by decade, be sure to put 60, 70, 80, etc. in the genre field when saving your entry. Then while performing, you can quickly access songs from a particular decade, for example the 60s. The last method is recalling song entries by numbers. Each song entry can be associated to a unique number that can be used to immediately recall by pressing the songbook button again and typing the number in the calculator. Confirm with OK. If you prefer to use this method, you should create a text file containing the list of songs. From the Book tab, open the Page menu and select Export as Text File. Select the media to save to. Assign a name to the text file. Then confirm with OK. You can copy this file to your computer, then view, edit, or print it. Be sure to use a non-proportional font like Courier New to keep the correct page alignment. Please keep in mind that resources are not copied to the songbook entries. They are only linked to them. If you move the songbook file to a different instrument or the resources to a different place, links can be broken, unless you recreate the exact same data structure. Links can also be broken by disconnecting a removable device like USB pen drives containing resources recalled by entries. If this happens, you'll get a resource not found error message. As mentioned before, we always suggest that, whenever possible, use the internal memory for your songbook resources. Creating and editing songs. Let's create a songbook entry using a style. Press Exit, Style Play, and select a style. We can save the style exactly as it is, but the beauty of Songbook is that you can make changes to the style before saving it as a song entry without affecting the original style. For example, let's speed up the tempo a bit and set it to 120 BPM. Let's change the drum kit. Change the bass sound. Change the organ to a synth. And mute the rhythm guitar. We can set the style up exactly how we want it to appear later. For example, starting with Variation 3, with Intro 2 as the introduction. Always select the variation you want first, then the intro you want. 
You can choose the voice processor preset you want as well. Now let's save this to Songbook. Go to Songbook, Book Edit One Page, Touch New Song. All STS is selected, so the four single touch settings currently saved with the original style will be saved with the song entry. Book Edit Two Page. Let's set the genre to funk. We can save the artist name here. The key here to remind me what key the song is in. Book Edit 3 page. Here you can save additional information such as the status of Synchro Start. Touch Right. Let's name it Funky. And confirm. Go to the book page. And there's our song entry. Notice the style icon to the left of the name. Press exit and let's select the original style again. Even though we made many changes, the original style is still there. And our edited version is available as a song entry in Songbook. The PA doesn't come with any MIDI files or MP3s, so all the song titles from the factory are set up to recall styles. Let's add one of the standard MIDI files from the internal drive to the songbook. Press exit to leave songbook, then go to song play mode. Select a MIDI file. Before saving it, again since I have a voice processor in the PA900 that will use the harmony track of many MIDI files, I'll set the correct preset here on the Mic tab. With the PA900 and some of the other PAs, you can quickly save a song entry by holding down the Songbook button to access the Save screen. It automatically brings in the name of the standard MIDI file, but you can change it if you want. Touch OK then yes to confirm. Go to Songbook. There's our song entry. Notice the MIDI icon beside the name. Since loading a standard MIDI file in Songplay does not recall any STS or pads, this entry will have the same STS and pads of the previous entry, but this can be changed later. In a similar way, we can easily create an MP3 entry. Press exit to go to Songplay mode. Select an MP3 from the internal drive. As before, the STS and pads will be the same. This time, let's choose one of the performances to save with the entry. And the TC Helicon preset from the Mic tab. Now go to Songbook. Book Edit 1. New Song. This time, touch here and we'll write the performance we chose into STS 1. We won't bother with the other book edit pages this time, just touch Write. It has the current name of the MP3 file. Touch OK. Touch Yes. Done. Book page. And notice the MP3 icon beside the name. We created three different song entries. As you saw with the first entry we made, you can make changes before saving it the first time. Changes can be made later as well, for example settings that are useful for performance as well as for searching purposes. Let's edit the MP3 song entry we created. Let's start by changing an STS. Choose a performance. Go to the Book Edit 1 page. And check off this Current STS box. And choose to save it to STS2. Go to Book Edit 2 page and set the genre to 70s. Now go to Book Edit 3. I've already created a .txt file with the lyrics to this song and copied it to the internal drive. Touch Browse. Touch the .txt file and then select. OK, we're ready to save everything. Touch Write.
Touch OK, then Yes to confirm. As we saw before, there are many parameters available to edit and change a style. However, standard MIDI files and MP3s do not have these parameters. They are always played back as they are. It is possible to edit standard MIDI files in sequencer mode. If you save the edit with the same name, the song entry will play back. If you change the name, you'll need to make a new song entry or edit the previous entry so it plays the correct MIDI file. Custom Lists Typically, performers prepare set lists for a show, a list of songs they will play. You can prepare several custom lists using Songbook. Go to the Custom List page. Here you can select which list you want. As you can see, Korg has included a few already. You can either edit an existing list or create a new one. First, open the Page menu and check Enable List Edit, and then touch outside the menu. The List Edit page becomes available. Let's create a new one by touching New List. Touch Yes to confirm. A list can only consist of entries already present in the book. Let's add the first song title we made using the search function to find our song. Press the Search button and type the name of what you're looking for. As explained earlier, you can type in the whole name or just part of it. Type in Funky and touch Search. Touch it, then select. Now that we've selected the song, touch Add to List. Go to the List Edit page and there's our song. Let's go back to the book page and add another two songs. Back to List Edit page. We can move the songs around by selecting a title and touching the Move Up and Down arrows. Or remove something from the list by touching the song and touching Delete Song. Once the list is ready, touch Right. Name it. and touch OK to confirm the text, OK, then Yes to save the list. Now open the Page menu and uncheck Enable List Edit. Touch the Custom List tab. There's our set list. Once the lists are done, you can select the one you want from the menu here. Usually, you will select the first song and then advance through the list by touching Next. This can also be assigned to an assignable button or switch. You can also select songs directly by touching the song, then touching Select. If a song using a style is playing, you can go to another song using a style and it will smoothly change to that song. You cannot, however, do this from a style to a standard MIDI file or MP3 or the reverse. For example, you will need to stop the player playing an MP3 before changing to a style song. If you have a dual song player in your keyboard, then while playing a standard MIDI file or MP3, you can press Next and the next song is loaded into the other player. You can then start the song and create a smooth transition using the crossfader control. Another great feature is Tempo Lock. This keeps the tempo of the current song or style when changing to the next. Great for doing a medley while performing. There's the option to export each song list as a text file. Go to the Custom List tab, Open the Page menu and select Export as Text File. Select the media to save to. 
assign a name to the text file, then confirm with OK. As mentioned before, when opening it on your computer, be sure to use a non-proportional font like Courier New to keep the correct page alignment. Songbook Editor Introduction Let's look at the Songbook Editor for PC, which is available as a free download from our official website. It's a powerful and useful application, including multiple entry editing, batch import of songs, and much more. This application is Microsoft Windows compatible and supports all PA models with the Songbook feature. Further details about minimum requirements and versions supported are available in the PDF manual that comes with the program. Installation is very simple. Just download the file, Unzip it, double-click the installer's icon, and follow the guided instructions on the screen. Connect your PA to the PC with a USB cable. When it's connected to a PA, the PC can see the instrument's internal memory as if it was an ordinary storage device. You can directly work on the standard MIDI files, MP3s, and text files contained in the PA. However, you cannot select styles directly. The editor includes a preference section where you must set your target. I'm going to select my PA900. You can also choose the font type, size, and color. By the way, in the PDF manual appendix, there's a list of useful shortcuts, for example, Ctrl plus S for saving, to speed up your operations. We suggest you take a moment to learn them. Let's take a look at the Songbook Editor main page. It's pretty much the same as the one in the PA, but since we have a bigger display, we can see all the book columns and the custom lists at once. Columns can be shown and hidden using the right mouse button, or resized using drag and drop or double clicking. You can change the order of the entries shown in the book list by clicking on a column header. Clicking again will change the order from ascending to descending or vice versa. Each time you choose a different sorting criterion, the previous criterion is considered as a sub-criterion for the new one. All modifications are automatically saved and recalled for future sessions. Custom lists have a fixed order and cannot be sorted. Filter works the same as on the PA. It's important to understand that you cannot edit your songbook at the same time on the keyboard while using the editor. As you'll see, the songbook is brought into the editor from the PA, edited, and then sent back to the PA. At that point, you're free to edit the songbook using the PA. Creating new entries. It's advisable to create style-based entries on the PA so that all the actual values of the style settings, style performance on older models, including sounds, EQ, effects, STS, etc., will be copied to the songbook entries. Creating style-based entries with the editor would only assign the default values and would require additional work later on. Of course, standard MIDI file and MP3 file-based entries can be created on the PA as well. However, you'll find this quicker and easier using the Songbook Editor. Before editing the Songbook database with the editor, you must save the internal memory of your PA to the internal drive by using the Save All operation. It's a good idea to keep a backup copy of your original Songbook files before editing them. Saving an edited Songbook file over an existing one will delete the previous data. By the way, if you edited the factory style banks, check your PA's manual for specific instructions before saving. Let's start the Songbook Editor. On the PA, go to the Media or Disk Mode, then the USB page, and press the Enable button. The icon of the PA's internal drive will appear among the devices connected to your PC. 
In the Songbook Editor, choose the Open command and browse the files in the internal drive of the PA. Find the .set folder, select it, All the songbook and custom list files contained in the .set folder will be loaded into the editor. You use the Edit New Entry command to create new songbook entries. When you create a new entry, you can link any of the file resources contained in your PA's internal drive. You can also link resources from a USB storage device. However, remember that moving resources or disconnecting a removable device may cause problems during the selection. If you want or need to keep your data on a USB pen drive while editing with the Songbook Editor, connect the USB storage device to the PC. When you're finished editing, connect the USB device back in your PA host port and keep it connected while using the Songbook. Instead of creating Songbook entries one by one, several entries can be created simultaneously. For example, you can import a series of standard MIDI files or MP3 files in a folder residing inside the internal drive of your PA or on an external USB storage device. In the editor, choose File, Import Files. A standard file selector will appear. Choose the folder where the resources are and select the files with the .mid, .kar, and MP3 extensions you want to import. While in this file selector, you can use the Windows standard Shift plus click shortcut to select multiple contiguous files, or the Control plus click shortcut to select multiple non-contiguous files. Click the Open command. These files will be automatically converted into the songbook entries and added to the book. Any tags and metadata will be imported into the songbook data, for example, title, author, key, etc. These entries will probably require some STS adjustments on the PA later on. Editing Entries The editor is particularly useful when modifying entries. For example, being able to see all of the parameters at once, editing multiple entries, or typing using the computer keyboard. Double-click the entry you want to edit to open the Edit dialog box. Note that not all parameters can be edited, and not all parameters may appear for every target. Entries that have been edited, but not yet saved, are shown in red. They will become black again once the songbook file has been saved. You can select and edit more than one entry at a time. However, when doing so, some parameters cannot be modified. For example, the entry's name or parameters pertaining to different types of entries. Select the entries you want to edit. Now right-click the selected entries and choose the Edit command. Parameters to be changed must be activated by checking the relevant box. Editing a style compared to a standard MIDI file or MP3 entry is very similar except for the style location and file path parameters. Duplicate entry names are not allowed, and note that names are case-sensitive. Each time you create a new entry, or edit an existing one, all the data is added to the various pop-up menus so that you can choose them when entering or editing other entries. For example, if you enter Hip-Hop in the Genre field, and this genre is not yet included in the list, the Hip-Hop option will automatically be added to the Genre pop-up menu. By the way, you can use the standard cut, copy, and paste operations within the Songbook Editor between different Songbook Editor instances, as well as to other applications, for example, a text editor or a spreadsheet. All entries can be selected at once using the Edit, Select All, or Control plus A command. And whatever is selected can be deleted using the Delete key. Custom Lists Let's look at creating and editing custom lists using the editor. Choose Edit New List to create a new custom list. The new list will appear in the Custom List panel. Select the list you want to add entries to. Grab an entry from the Book panel and drag it onto the Selected List panel. Of course, you can select multiple entries to drag to the list, 
or choose a column order, for example genre, to make a list of a particular genre. Click a name in the Custom List panel to see the content in the panel on the right. This list cannot be ordered by clicking a column header. You reorganize the entries in a custom list using drag and drop. Delete unwanted entries using the Delete key. You can delete an entire custom list by selecting it and pressing Delete. Frequent Operations There are frequent operations that can be done quickly and easily by using the Songbook Editor. Let's take a look at a few. Multiple Entry Editing allows you to change the location of a musical resource that's been used in several songbook entries. For example, let's say you've used a style in the fifth location of Factory One Bank for several song entries. But you had to move that style to the first location of User One Bank. The problem is that now all those song entries would be referencing the wrong style. Here's how to fix it. In the editor, click the Resource column header to reorder all entries by resource number. Then locate and select all the entries referenced to the style in the Factory 1 bank, Location 5. Right-click the selected entries and choose the Edit command to open the Multiple Edit Style Entry dialog box. Check the Bank and Position checkboxes of the style line. Choose the new bank, User 1 bank and the new position, Position 1, and click OK. Now all the selected entries are referencing the new correct location. Full banks of styles can be moved to different locations. This may happen when changing to another PA instrument. For example, you may want to copy a factory bank of styles of the previous instrument to the user area of the new instrument. This means that the style positions inside the bank are kept and only the bank number has changed. Using Songbook Editor, you can easily relink several entries to a different bank of styles. In the Book panel, click the Resource column header to group all entries by resource number. Select all the Songbook entries linked to Factory Bank 1. Right-click the selected entries and choose the Edit command to open the Multiple Edit Style Entry dialog box. Edit the bank parameter by changing the corresponding checkbox. Change Factory 1 Bank to User 1 Bank. Confirm by clicking OK. Notice how all selected entries are now referenced to the new bank of styles. It's easy to reassign standard MIDI files, MP3 files, or lyric text files to the songbook entries. This will prove very useful when you switch to a new instrument or after rearranging your files to a different media device or folder for any reason. When editing a single entry, you can edit the drive unit, the file path, and the file name. When editing multiple entries, you can only edit the drive unit and the file path. In our example, we will change the unit and path of our MP3 entries including text. Order the book by type. Select some MP3 entries to be edited. Right-click them and choose the Edit command. When the Multiple Edit Entry dialog box opens, check the Unit and Path checkboxes of the Resources and TXT file. Then click the yellow folder icon to browse and locate the new folder in the connected device. Confirm by pressing OK. Done. You can merge entries from different songbook files by opening two or more application sessions, each one having a different songbook file. We already have one songbook editor session open. Open a second session of songbook editor. Now open the second songbook file. When using multiple application instances, you must choose the same target on all instances. With the windows of both sessions on screen, drag and drop entries from one window to the other. You can also drag and drop entries between the book of one session to a selected list panel of another session. 
The song entry will automatically be created in the target book panel. If duplicate entries are found, you are given a choice between keeping the original one, overwriting it, or specifying a different name for the new one. Reloading the songbook back to the PA. When you've finished editing, you need to save the songbook file and load it back to your PA. Save the file to the PA internal drive, choose Save As, and create a set folder with a different name, then save it. From the Windows toolbar, choose Safe Hardware Removal and select the PA's internal drive to disconnect it from the PC. This will automatically disable the USB connection we made previously in media or disk mode of the PA. To make the edited songbook files active, you must reload them into the PA. The active songbook database will be updated. If while using the songbook editor, you change the link to any kind of resource, like styles, songs, or text, be sure that the new situation available in the internal memory remains consistent with any modification you've done. For example, if your songbook contains links to an external library device, be sure to connect it to your PA's USB host port and leave this device connected each time you use the songbook. Conclusion Before we finish up, here are a few useful songbook tips. If you normally use a paper book containing your sheet music, lyrics, notes, etc., you can put a number on the page corresponding to the number to be used to recall the songbook entry. Click the songbook button and type the number in the calculator and confirm with OK. A digital version of this is using a tablet app. There are apps available that allow you to send MIDI messages to the PA to sync the selection both in the tablet and the PA itself. Very useful. With a touch of a button, all the songbook settings can be called up on your PA and the score of the song instantly displayed on the screen of the tablet. Okay, that's it. Hope this helps you get the most out of this powerful feature, the Korg PA Series Songbook.